Greetings. This presentation will be about the project control aspect of project management. Specifically, I will be looking at conducting a PERT analysis to estimate the duration of a capital project. The purpose of this presentation is to use the Microsoft Project software to conduct a PERT analysis to estimate the duration of a capital project given the pessimistic, realistic, and optimistic estimates by some experts. A Gantt chart will then be created to visually compare the planned durations with the actual duration for the activities within the project. Finally, the rate of performance will be calculated based on actual work completed versus what was planned. Here are the different tasks for the capital project plan we will be controlling. They include the strategic plan phase, project initiation phase, building design, construction phase, and occupancy. You can see the different subtasks for each of these below them. On the right, the predecessor to each task is inputted if the tasks are interdependent. Take particular note of row 6. The predecessor 5FF is entered here because the subtask space programming was finished at the same time as the master facility plan. Here is a table of the values that were inputted into Microsoft Project for conducting the PERT analysis. On the right are the pessimistic, expected, and optimistic projections for the duration of each of the subtasks which are based on the input of experts. For the entire project, in a pessimistic scenario, it will take 1,140 days, in an optimistic one, 640 days, and in a realistic case, about 840 days. Once inputted, a single estimated duration is calculated based on all three of these values. Microsoft Project does this automatically. However, it can be done by hand as well. Essentially, all three estimates are considered, but the formula gives the realistic estimate four times the weight of the pessimistic and optimistic estimates. The resulting durations can be seen in the duration column. I should note that the partial days after calculations were rounded up to the nearest whole day. Take particular note of the overall duration of the project that is estimated, which is 860 days, as well as the durations of the first three subtasks, which you can see are 157 days, 40 days, and 140 days. I will visit these numbers again later. To track progress of tasks after one has been completed, one should enter the actual start and finish dates in the tracking table of Microsoft Project as shown here. You can see the first three subtask dates have been entered and subsequently they're indicated as being 100% complete. After dates are entered for completed tasks, the duration is updated. Take note that now the entire project is estimated to be 784 days because the first three subtasks took 109 days, 89 days, and 42 days, respectively. It should also be noted that a standard calendar was used for creation of this chart, which assumes 5-day or 40-hour work weeks. The Gantt chart shown here depicts the planned duration from the PERT analysis in gray, also known as the baseline. The blue and red bars are the actual duration. Red bars are on the critical path, indicating that their duration cannot be changed without affecting the duration of the entire project. Since both the red and blue bars are consistently ahead of the baseline bars, the project is anticipated to finish ahead of the plan. The rate of performance based on completed tasks can be calculated by dividing the duration of actual work by the planned work. Because all three initial subtasks were dependent on completion of the previous, they are all on the critical path. Knowing this, the actual durations of the first three completed subtasks are summed and divided by the sum of planned durations by PERP which I indicated a few slides back. Specifically, this would be the sum of 109, 89, 42, divided by the sum of 147, 40, and 140. The result is multiplied by 100, and our rate of performance is thus 71%. If this rate of performance is multiplied by planned duration, the estimated project end can be obtained, which is likely to be even less than planned since the rate is less than 100%. Therefore, a negative delay is anticipated. A different way of looking at performance is to subtract the initial entire project duration from the updated duration, which is 784 minus 860, or 76 days ahead of our planned schedule. From this project, I learned that a PERT analysis can help increase the accuracy in estimating the duration of activities by taking into account all possible scenarios, from the worst case to the best case. I also noted how useful Microsoft Project software can be to track progress and control a project's schedule. 
A manager can determine if they are ahead of or behind schedule and calculate the performance rate, after which he or she can make the necessary adjustments to keep the timetables of the project tasks in line. The rate of performance has useful applications by managers to track the budget of projects and to estimate the end of a project.